Nigerian retail foreign exchange traders say they have agreed to have a single rate for the currency against the U.S. dollar at 3.99 naira across the country. President of the body says the move is in a bid to reduce the gap between the official interbank market and the black market rate. Our correspondent Abile Smayo now reports. The Nigerian forex market is yet to get away from the present economic recession. But market players, especially members of the Burundi Chong, are working on other modalities that will put sanity into the system. Now the group says it will start publishing a weekly reference exchange rate for the Naira for the Nigerian business community as a first step to distinguish it from the illegal black market operators. The Naira trades at 305 on the official interbank market but has been quoted as weak as 490 on the open retail market in recent days. The single exchange market uh, is not only developed in Nigeria, it's developed in other countries like Egypt and it has succeeded. Part of the problem why we are facing here in Nigeria is leakages. It's the leakages that are causing the problem. And as we begin to identify those leakages and we block them, definitely it's possible for us to achieve the single uh, exchange rate in the market. It's for the good of everybody. The president of the group, Aminu Gwadabi, says once liquidity improves, the wide margin between the official rate and the BDC will be breached. And to get access to more Forex, he disclosed that the group is seeking approval from the Central Bank of Nigeria to access dollar from the exporters and has recommended suspension for some members who failed to submit documents on Forex purchases from money transfer agents. Outlook for 2017 is bright and promising. Already we have prices of crude oil going up and translating to better foreign reserve and fiscal buffers that will enhance liquidity and growing investors' confidence in the FS market. Furthermore, this development will lead to a breach of the gap between the federal market and the official market. The growing foreign reserve and fiscal buffers, like I said in 2008, will help the regulators and the government to ensure there is liquidity. And once there is liquidity in the market, definitely there must be a shrinkage between the official and the federal market rate. This, we believe, will happen with this development that we have started seeing. The BDC says it will continuously ensure that purchased funds are disbursed to end users and for eligible transactions only, and also maintain strict compliance to the provision of the anti-money laundry laws. Abiola Ismail, TV360 Lagos.